Hello and welcome to the fourth Weka tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can manage imbalanced dataset. What's the problem of imbalanced dataset? Well, if you have a training or test dataset that consists of positive and negative instances and the classification labels differ largely, that means, for example, in your uh, training set, you can have 500 positive instances but 50,000 negative instances so in that case if you use some classification algorithms then those algorithms can underperform or they can experience some overfitting problem because you have so many imbalance imbalanced uh, data in your data set so in order to remove that there are several techniques and personally, I prefer one technique that's that's called SMOT. Uh, that's an abbreviation for sampling uh, a synthetic minority oversampling technique, SMOTE. And by using SMOT, you can easily increase the number of minority group or minority instances in your data set. That means if you have 500 positive in 500 positive instances and 50,000 negative instances then you can increase your positive instances in every iteration if you want to increase that to 100 percent then in the in the following iteration the first iteration uh, it will produce 1000 positive instances against your 50,000 negative instances and you can experiment on and on uh, until you get good results with your classifying algorithm or until uh, the the data set becomes balanced in terms of positive and negative instances so weka has a fantastic option to use smote so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can use smote option of weka smote is actually a filter in weka and how you're how you're able to uh, balance your data set so that your classifying algorithms can perform better they and they do not experience overfitting problem so let's get to Weka and I have already loaded a, an experiment file of mine and this is a training file that I'm currently using in my research and you can see that uh, if we go to, uh, there are several uh, attributes, and the number of attributes is 35, including the classing five, classifying feature class. And you can see that the blue ones are yes class, and the red ones are the no class. And you can see that we have only 372 positive instances uh, against uh, almost 6,500 negative instances. So if I run this data, if I run a classifying algorithm on this data to classify um, unseen documents with a tenfold cross validation, for example, then I will have some underperforming classifier designed, and uh, that classifier also uh, can experience some overfitting problem because of the imbalanced data set. So, in order to balance it, you can you can see that you are in preprocess tab. You can choose a filter from here. In Weka filters, we have to choose supervised filters, and because we are trying to increase the number of instances, so we have to choose the instance filter from here. And you can see that uh, SMOT is present there for a choice. So we select SMOT, and if we if we want to uh, make it default, uh, then we can use the default settings. But if you want to change according to your plans or according to your task, then you can always have the option to change the parameters of SMOT. So if you click here, and you can see the class value is zero. This means that Weka automatically understands which one is your minority class. And in this case, we have our minority class at uh, zero, class zero and that contains 372. Of course, you can change it to one, but in that case, uh, the, the synthetic uh, examples or synthetic instances will increase for the no class and your data set becomes more um, 
uh, imbalanced so we want to choose zero here it's default and wake automatically calculates it nearest neighbors means that uh, the smart algorithm works in this way if you choose five nearest neighbors then what it's going to do is it calculates or uh, it synthetically produces a synthetic uh, training instances or test in instances between uh, by calculating five neighbors and put them uh, within those five neighbors and then it takes this number six and number eleven and calculates uh, synthetically uh, again to produce the synthetic instance and put them within the six and eleventh instance so you can always have the option to choose uh, nearest neighbors uh, this is an open option for smart and for 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 instance you can if you choose 10 this will obviously change the classifying algorithms performance if you choose it 15 uh, uh, again the performance may change so it depends all on your task and all on your demand so you have to be careful in choosing nearest neighbors because your classifying algorithms performance definitely is going to change uh, just because of selecting nearest neighbors it's all up to you percentage means how much of the data or how much of the instances of the minority class um, is going to increase in this iteration so 100 percent means uh, in the next run it will it will be 372 multiplied by 2 because you've chosen 100 percent and those uh, newly created synthetic instances will be inserted into your data set and random seed means it's, a, it's just a case or random value by which it increases uh, it increases uh, the number of synthetic instances so we are going to use the default one for this case just be, because it's just a tutorial we select OK and we then click apply and this may take several times uh, to run because uh, in every iteration in your data instant in your instances your in your data set uh, are going to increase so in that time it it's uh, it's increasing the number of data every time by hundred percent of the minority class so sometimes it is okay uh, in Weka Explorer to get slower and sometimes it's uh, it gets uh, it gets out of memory as well so don't worry about that you have to be careful in processing a uh, large number of training features or training attributes so you can see that if you choose class uh, after the first iteration our ES class this is the minority class has increased from 362 or something like that to uh, 744 but the no class has not changed so in this way you can increase the number of instances in your minority class in your data set and now you can also save this data set be, uh, right after uh, uh, increasing the number of uh, instances in the minority class and I'm going to save that uh, in test uh, mode file and if I now go to my directory to see what's written there you can go at the bottom and these bottom values are actually uh, produced by smart algorithms and uh, because you can see that they're all yes all yes because the, the 362 or uh, something uh, some figure like that the increased number of instances in this training set they're all pushed at the bottom of your training set you can see that this is my original data set you can find lots of no's and then some yeses because we have few yeses and more no's but at in the end after applying the smart algorithm you can see that they're all yes now we have a problem because in some cases if you have uh, if you if you want to apply tenfold cross validation and you want to learn you want to develop some learned model with uh, some classifying algorithms at that time if you have so many no's at a time or so in a fold and so many yeses in another fold then we have a problem of overfitting there so
to remove that you can choose another filter from here and it's going to be unsupervised filter we're going to deal with uh, uh, the attributes I think and okay uh, it's not going to be attribute I think it's going to be instance and you can choose randomize so after choosing randomize you can press apply and you again save that file test underscore mode we want to override that and if you go to the notepad plus plus you can see at the bottom now we have some changes they're not all yeses or all no's because we, we have some yes class here as well as we have some no classes here now the problem has been solved what was the problem i'm stating that again if you want to use some uh, classification algorithm to classify or to develop a uh, model uh, of your uh, classifier uh, with a data set with uh, if you and if you want to uh, uh, apply tenfold cross validation on that data set in order to classify that but the problem is that if every fold has a, a large number of VSS and uh, if one fold has large number of VSS and another fold has large number of no's or negative instances at that time you have a possibility of uh, overfitting your uh, learned learn model and so in order to remove that when we use mode we have seen that what mode does is mode pushes the synthetic minority instances at the end of your file so if you want to apply tenfold cross validation at that stage then this is very possible that your uh, learned model is going to be uh, overfitted so in order to remove that you have chosen the randomized filter from uh, wake up process tab and apply that so after applying that you're going to save that file and you can see that your values are now randomized so that's it for today i hope that helps and we have to deal with lots of imbalanced data set and you can use smolt in weka uh, explorer uh, to solve this imbalance imbalance problem and it can make your data set balanced so that there's no overfitting in your uh, learning uh, learning algorithm and uh, there is no underperformance as well thank you very much